not guilty. Two powerful person who released the statement. Number one is Pilate, a Roman governor who's sitting in the highest position of the court. And number two, Herod the king. They're saying in Luke 23 verse 4, I find no basis for a charge against this man. These two powerful people saying this man is not guilty, this Jesus is not guilty at all. They are not an ordinary people. They are in a position of authority and they say Jesus is not guilty. But people keep yelling and yelling, crucify him, crucify him, and release Barabbas. You know what? Jesus is not guilty at all. But they choose Barabbas to set free. Jesus become a sinner for us. He took all the responsibility of this man. Read with me in 2 Corinthians 5.21. For he made him who knew no sin to be seen for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Jesus sacrificed himself. He became sin for us, that we may obtain the right standing in the eyes of God through Jesus. Supposed to be, we are the one who will cry, I am guilty. You are guilty. I am guilty. Because Jesus is not guilty at all. But he took his place for us. He became guilty because of our sin that we can obtain the righteousness of God through him. Because Jesus loved us. And that's the bottom line of why Jesus crucified on the cross. Because he loved us. And again, I will say, Jesus is not guilty at all. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.